Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ken's Case. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo here in Boca Raton, Florida. I have um, both sets of Atlantis abutments that were ordered um, uh, through via the Internet, and we did receive them back. My laboratory has taken now the second set, but even before showing you our, our framework, I'm going to show you what we used prior to obtaining these abutments. Um, again, this was our mock-up. Uh, we did select to use a durable material called Triad Composite. Um, that was fitted to the to the master cast, and then the computer scanned this and virtually made the abutments, of which then were sent to me via email, and I was able to use the software on an earlier uh, video that I discussed in order to have these finished and milled. And we found out that this abutment and this one were a little bit too small and too too short and, and too thin. So we changed that and we went with um, new abutments. So they, the company sent us um, another set. So here's the first set, here's the new second set, and you can see how much more wide this second set, um, this particular abutment uh, was, and also th this abutment here it was taller and this one was shorter. So now with that being said, um, we had a visual of before when we made the outer copy or a Omnivac placed on the model. The laboratory then waxed up the framework, not only using that Omnivac, the but they use a silicone index. And this is one of the frameworks that's fitting. And this is made of ceramic gold. We're going to keep the lingual aspect in metal, giving us added support here, 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 and here. So all of uh, the occlusion on this, except for the lateral and cuspid, are going to be in metal. And then here is the other side. And this is a little longer span bridge, but uh, you can see how that goes all the way back to the molar. And again, this was waxed and cast by hand. It was not digitally made. And um, I, I would say it's pretty close um, to the margins. If we were to take each individual uh, abutment off and try it in, it might have just a very, very slight uh, variation and fit, but not enough uh, where we can fit an explorer underneath. So. I thought it was pretty exceptional. I would say that um, you know we now have a nice framework for Ken's case, of which we're going to add porcelain. So today Ken's Ken's going to be coming in in about mm, 30 minutes. So hopefully we'll video that and show you how we do it in the mouth, how this is uh, tried in, and how we check the occlusion, which is important in Ken's case, um, to verify the mounting. All right, so. Two things to verify today, fit, making sure that these two spans are, are fitting passively in the mouth as they are on the model. And then number two, uh, bite registration verification. Oh, and we also need to select our color as well. So um, Ken is looking forward to this appointment. He's got, I uh, believe, two more after today if all goes well, and then he's on his way back up to, uh, to Illinois and back home. Um, you know, to, to uh, spend time up there in the summer. Uh, he likes to come down here now, hopefully in the in the winter time. Um, but that's it. We're getting ready. We now have our frames ready. I'm not going to go into too much more detail about the design of the frame. Uh, next step is let's try it in the mouth, verify fit. And uh, if you need to call in or, or write in our email address, um, you can email it to uh, mailbox at gcuomodds.com or simply go to our website at www.gcuomodds.com or call in at 561-391-6290. Thank you and take care. See you on the next segment.